Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. I'm Ashwat Singh and on this channel we demystify life and technology. And in this video, I'll be demystifying Sigma OS's latest feature, Iris. So let's get right to it. So Sigma OS, a revolutionary browser, you can check my first video out up here. We recently released a new AI companion called Iris. Get it? It's Iris, but with AI at the beginning. I found a wordplay really cool. Anyways, if you know what is running Iris, it is ChatGPT 3.5 plus Turbo. I don't know what that exactly means, but you may know or you may want to know. Now you may be wondering, what is the difference between Iris and ChatGPT if Iris is running ChatGPT in the background? Well, here are a few features that Iris has that would be a bit harder to get into ChatGPT. So I'm going to be talking about those features. Also, just a quick note, Iris is currently running on waitlists. So in case you want to join the waitlist for Iris, you can click the link in the description down below or the link in the pinned comment. And in case you want to try out Sigma OS, you can click the second link in the description down below or in the pinned comment as well. So now let's talk about those features. The first feature in Iris is called Explain. This basically means you can highlight any particular phrase on any web page and click the letter A and Iris will explain that phrase to you in the context of the web page, which is really remarkable. Or you can also right click and click the Ask Iris About button. Now the second feature is that Iris will be able to explain any web page to you. Like for example, you don't have a question about the phrase for the entire web page. Just click A and in a few seconds, Iris will understand the context of that particular page. And you can ask questions based on it. Like for me, for example, I really like the summarize feature because I can understand the main points of the article and see whether I want to actually read it. And in addition to this, you can also ask follow up questions regarding that particular web page and Iris will always answer it with that web page. Rewrite and reword. Now this is really cool because it allows you to rewrite any particular web page in your own preference. Like for example, you can make it simpler, like it's written by a child or even add humor to it, which is really cool. But in addition to this, you can also translate it to different languages. For me, for example, I've just seen French and Spanish, but there may be more languages coming, I don't know. But even cooler than that, and it's absolutely hilarious using these options, that you can rewrite a web page like it was written by a cat, written by a Groot, or even written by a pirate. It's really funny seeing how these web pages are rewritten when you use these options. Now, let me show you all of this in action in Sigma OS. Okay, so now let's take a look at how Iris works in real time. So basically, we get Iris up like that when I showed on the side. As you click the letter A when you're not highlighted on anything, I'll go to this directly. Now, in case you have a question about any specific thing, you don't need to bring up this part specifically. All you have to do is just go to that particular text. And let's just say we go to this. This is part of Substack. It's not from Iris. But anyways, one way you can do is by clicking the letter A here itself. I'll explain everything and you can see over here it also comes over here so any questions you ask regardless will always pop up on the right side that can be quite useful in case you're asking quite a few questions on the web page then in addition to this if you want you can also highlight let's say just highlight the same text you can click on it and then ask iris about and i'll take you to the same place and you can see that it does everything on this now you can also ask you to summarize the web page so that's just as simple as just saying summarize this web page and this will work for everything regardless. So it's sort of like ChatGPT working on the side, but it's sort of separated into containers for each web page, which can be quite useful. And you can also ask it questions based on this kind of thing. So you can like, for example, if um, we see this, I can say like, what is, what are the YouTube milestones? And then you can see over here, it automatically lists them, which is really cool. So basically, that's how Iris works. And in case you want to see it on a particular web page as well, like an article, let's just go to this one. So for example, let's say that we have some, let's just take some random line here. Use main goals. It'll just take that. So you can basically see over here, it automatically tells you everything for that. So basically, it, it has allows you to ask questions and those it may not give the response all the time. Just knowing it can give it to you is quite nice. So for example, I just do like summarize this web page. You can just do it like that and it'll summarize everything else. So that is really cool. And like it, and also sometimes even when there's not a whole view of it, it'll also tell you right here. So that is really cool as well. Now the fun feature, let's talk about those. So I'll just go back to this one cause it's easier than this. So I'll click A and you can see it comes over here. But if you want to reword the whole web page, you have to do command enter. 
and you can see all the options here like for example you can make it simpler written by a child add humor so basically you can see like it adds a bit of humor here and there so basically you can see yeah it's it's quite funny anyways so you can do stuff like this and in case you want to go back to the original one all you have to do is command and refresh so command r basically and it'll go back to the first one you can also translate it to different languages like let's say you translate a page to spanish it'll translate everything to spanish automatically which is really cool and even all of this stuff and once again if you want to go back you just do this and now the fun features which are there which is like this one written by a cat yeah you can see it does a lot of stuff so basically you can see that iris has a lot of features in it and a lot of them are for fun a lot of them are just like that but it's really cool having these features and it has been really helpful to me it allows you to read articles much faster and much more so that's basically everything that happens in iris and how it works so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching till the end in case you have any questions about iris or sigma os feel free to ask them in the comment section down below now in case you want to join iris's waitlist you can check out the first link in the description or the pinned comment and in case you want to try out sigma os you can check out the second link in the description down below or the second one in the pinned comment if you enjoyed the video be sure to like it for the youtube algorithm and if you want to be notified of all of my latest uploads be sure to subscribe to the channel so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.